change for Grundy County Schools and their athletics program. Today we learned the high school hired a new football coach, their third one in less than a year. Tim Chapman joins us now with why this hire is historic and the new coach's vision for a program surrounded by controversy. Kim. Josh Latricia, Tracy Hayworth is the first African American coach in Grundy County High School history. He also played for the Tennessee Vols in the 1980s. This is a photo from back then from his time at Knoxville and from UTSports.com. Today we spoke to Hayworth in the team's field house. It's the same field house where police say five players assaulted a freshman player with a mop handle. That was in October, they say. That incident led to Coach Casey Tate being suspended and ultimately fired. Today we asked Hayworth about the severity of the incident that has surrounded rounded the program for the past several months. He says he is the right man to change the culture and put those issues in the past. And that's the whole idea of me being here. We're going to change the face and, and change the whole perception of the program. And uh, I haven't had any as severe of some of the situations that were going on, but uh, I think with a little different leadership and uh, like I said, with different guidance, I don't think we'll have that issue anymore. Hayworth replaces Scott Smith. He was fired earlier this week after only six months on the job. Athletics director Leon Woodley told TennesseeHighSchoolFootball.com that Smith had not scheduled games with rivals like Marion County and Whitwell. Patricia, back to you. Kim, thank you. It is not clear where the case of the five players charged with attempted assault stands. We reached out to the district attorney but haven't heard back. One of the most beloved members of Vol Nation is in our area right now.